Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I apologize. I was on a call with one of my old drivers. So I apologize for that. I apologize. Welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen Monday More Salts. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. Cheers. Thank you for joining me tonight. Tis the season, y'all. The time is upon us. The time is upon us. So pretty soon, we're going to be flooded with family stuff. Family stuff. Hello, Nessa. Is that you, Nessa? I think that's you. I don't know. I can't really see. Um, I'm going to be over in your area in a few minutes here. So, again, welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. I am making a fun little thing with some crescent rolls. Some, let's see, what is this? Lemon fig marmalade and some brie. Brie. Because why not? Why not? That's just how we're going to roll tonight. It's all about having those little quick things on Mondays. So that is what I am doing. We're going to pop these little crescent rolls here. I always hate doing these because I'm like, Mm, is it going to pop before I get it all the way unwrapped? I don't know. There we go. All right. Hi, love. I miss your little face so much. So again, I apologize for being a little bit late. And is Adam with you? I have to ask. Is Adam with you? Hello, Adam, my little love. I was on a call with a, one of my old drivers, and things are not going very well for them. Let's just say that. Can we just say that? Okay, so these awesome little crescent rolls come perforated. And I'm just going to throw it here. Because why? I can. That's why. We're just going to follow the preparations here. Hopefully. Hopefully. You can actually sometimes find these guys in sheets, which is totally cool too, depending on what you are planning to do with them. We're going to make a little bit of a fig and brie roll up tonight. That's what we are doing. And this one just ripped a little bit. So, you know what? We're going to leave it there. We're just going to leave it there. It's okay. We're going to leave it there. Hello. Oh, he's playing outside. Oh, I love that boy. He's so damn cute. Hello. 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 Hi. All right, so we've got our little crescent rolls, our little, our little, uh, my friend Dot used to call these, what did she call them, pop them biscuits, pop them biscuits, because you just pop them right out of the can. Beautiful, right? Totally beautiful. Hello, Lori. Oh, I love it that you keep joining. I love it that you keep joining from Michigan. That's so awesome. All right, so we've got our, our little fig marmalade here. We're going to put a little bit of this marmalade on each of these little biscuits here. You guys, sometimes you just got to cut corners. I don't even know if, if she's still on, but back in the day when I used to watch nothing but like Food Network all the time, there was a lady, what was her name? Sandy? Sally? Something like that. And she did a semi-homemade, semi-homemade. Hello, Miss Gail. And she always had, like, something crazy going on. And I always loved it because I'm all about cutting corners sometimes. And that's just what you have to do. Like, really. Sometimes you just got to cut them corners, you guys. And this is going to be a really quick appetizer. Sounds so good and she just ate dinner. Love it. All right, I'm going to spread this out just slightly. We're not going to get too crazy with it because I kind of want that that marmalade to kind of be, I want it to be there. I want it to be there, you know what I mean? Like you want to taste that and I'm just gonna spread it a little bit. I do have my oven set to 375 per the instructions on the can, okay? Per the instructions on the can. This is very fall, very fall. I know some of you are very excited to see fall. I am not one of those people. 
Um, we are having a lot of luck right now in Washington State because it is not freezing and it's not raining. So for those of you that have the preconceived notion that Washington State is very rainy, psych, just kidding. We're not, we're not rainy right now. Okay, so I've taken my brie and I've actually, I'm gonna try to, try to lift this up here. All right, so we've got our brie. I have cut the rind off the brie for the most part. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get it when you're trying to cut it like this way, like, so for the most part, we have our brie taken out of there, right? Out of the rind. You could totally leave the rind in there if that's your jam. I'm not opposed to that. So I cut it all the way around, cut the sides off of it, and then just sliced it right down the middle. So I have these little chunks, see? And we're just gonna place these little guys right on the top, the big end of our croissants. The big end. It is a feel good thing though, you guys, when I have drivers that are calling me from my last job it's been two months since I've worked there, and they're telling me how absolutely horrible everything is. Kind of makes you feel good. Kind of makes you feel good. All right, so now we have all of our, our jam there. We've got all of our brie there right at the end. We're just gonna roll these bitches up. Just whoop, there it is. We're gonna roll them up just like you would if they were just doing their thing, right? Fresh out of the package. Gotta love that. Sometimes the convenience of things is so awesome. The leaves just started turning. All right. Lori, or yeah, Lori, maybe you should send us a picture. I don't know that I've seen a lot of leaves turning, but we have a lot of evergreen trees here, so. Love it. Oh, got a couple here. We're going to go from this side. And again, we just have it set at 375. Just rolling them bitches up. Quick, easy appetizer. Delicious because we've got the sweet, we've got the savory, we've got the sweet from the, the jam. We've got the savory from the the biscuit and the fuck brie. Damn, I can't even think right now. All right, so we're just gonna pop these bad boys in the oven for like 12 minutes ish. 12 minutes ish. We want them to be nice and golden brown, and so they will be tasty when they come out. See, so easy. It's such an easy thing. And it's gonna be a crowd pleaser because a lot of people really love sweet and savory. So that's why I'm doing this because it's sweet and savory. You could also fill these with cream cheese. So I chose brie because I kind of like brie. I kind of like the way it tastes, it's pretty good. And it's a nice soft cheese. So if you wanted to do like a cream cheese and raspberry jam, you could totally do that. That could be like a breakfast. If you guys do like a breakfast thing at your house for the holidays, that could be totally fun to just add to your, your breakfast thing. See? See? It's awesome. I'm not going to make you wait the whole 12 minutes. So this is a very quick Monday Morsels. Make sure that you join me on Wednesday. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to be cooking. Hopefully I'll be here on Wednesday. Since I have a new job, I might actually be working, so we may have to adjust the time a little bit. So... Make sure you're following. I love that you're, you guys are following because that just makes my, my world so happy. And I do need to upload YouTube videos. I will try to do that in the morning. I'm not gonna make you any promises that I can't keep that, however, so. Yes, so this is easy peasy, appetizer squeezy. You like that? You like that? Appetizer squeezy, love it. Okay, so. Make sure you keep following on YouTube because there's lots and lots and lots of stuff on YouTube that is not in anywhere on here anymore. 
So, and I did not start using my Instagram feed until I got banned from Facebook. So, <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you. And I'll also post a picture when we're done.